Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on how to fix underexposed images using your Chasing Light workflow. Um, when your image is underexposed, it's usually going to be darker and the colors will be more muted. So I have a photo right now, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So one way you can fix your underexposed images using the Chasing Light presets is by scrolling down to the exposure presets we have here. And for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Exposure Brighten 2. So that's going to bring my photo up two stops. So fixing underexposed images isn't just about bringing the light back into the photograph. It's also about correcting the colors. So I'm going to use another preset. And for this photograph, I'm going to use an all-in-one preset. And I'm going for the Lomo Baby number 2 which has kind of given it a warmer tone and it's really brought out these turquoise and aqua tones that are in the boat and these girls dresses. The next preset I'm going to apply to this photograph is I'm going to use a polish preset from the Chasing Light workflow and I'm using the sharpen because I just want to sharpen the image a little bit. So now that we've added our presets we're going to move into the Chasing Light brushes and I'm going to show you how you can use the brushes to really enhance the photograph. So I'm scrolling down to my Chasing Light brushes and the first one I'm going to go with is the Chasing Light Brighten brush and I'm just going to use that brush all along our subjects right here just to kind of bring a little bit more light to them and then I'm going to slide the exposure up I'm going to hit new and I'm going to do that just one more time. All right, the next brush I'm going to use, I'm going to go back into my Chasing Light brushes. And I'm going to go ahead with the color brush. I'm going to use the color cooler here. And as you can see down here, it does have a kind of white tone. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up into this kind of turquoise blue tone here. And I'm going to use it to just add a tiny little bit of color to their dresses here. Just to really make the dresses stand out. And then I can play with that color by either turning the saturation up or down. In this case, I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to turn the contrast up and I'm going to turn the exposure up just a little bit. Okay, so even though we've applied the presets and stacked them on top of each other as one click edits, I'm now going to go ahead into my navigation over here and I'm going to go open the basic tab and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the temperature of this photograph. I just want to warm it up a little bit just to kind of complement the blues that are in the photograph. So that's a little too much. So I'm just going to probably put it at 2 here. Alright and I'm going to add one more thing to the photograph before I finish here. And I'm going to go for a medium black vignette. Um, but this is a little too much of a vignette for me. So what we can do to kind of lessen that effect is go down to our effects. And we're going to look for something called highlight priority. And I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. All right. So that's all I'm going to do with this photograph. I'll show you the before and after. So as you can see, we had the underexposed image before that was dark, kind of lacked color and light and we've gone ahead and put a lot of light into it and color. Here's the before and the after. So the Chasing Light workflow is all about bringing light and color back into your photographs and it's really great for this kind of nice polished look. So we're going to go ahead and move on and I'll show you a different photograph now. All right, so we have another underexposed image, and like I did with the first photograph, I'm going to go over to my Chasing Light presets, and I'm going to start with the Exposure Brighten. 
So now that I've applied that and I've brightened the photograph, what you can see happens occasionally, especially with sunsets like this, is that some of the highlights back here have kind of become blown out. So we've applied the Exposure Brighten 2 preset and to kind of correct the highlights we're going to open our basic tab and we're just going to tweak the preset by just turning the highlights down a little bit and that brings all this detail back in the sky here. The next thing I'm going to do is use an all-in-one preset for this to add a little bit of color to it and I'm going to go with the Paisley number 2. So we've added a little bit of color, we lost a little bit of the light, so we are going to fix that. So by going into our basic tab here, we can go ahead and turn the exposure up a little bit. And turn the highlights down again. So this photograph, when I applied the preset, it added a little bit too much warmth. So there are two ways to fix that. I can fix that with my temperature slider right here or what I can choose to do is go down to my color tab here and I can choose to kind of change the colors that I want to. So I'm going to kind of pull the yellow up and the orange. So I'm sorry, I'm going to pull the orange down actually. And the yellow halfway. Just so I have a more balanced color situation here. And I'm going to pull the blue up so that we get the blue up in this corner. And then I'm also going to pull the magenta up so that the, her pants kind of pop with the color. So now we're going to move into the Chasing Light brushes for this one. The Chasing Light brush that I'm going to use right now is this Add Golden Sun. And what I'm going to do is use it to add some light back here in the sunset. But the color down here is a little too bright for this photograph. So what I'm going to do is just open the color tab here and just slide it down a little bit. So it's more of a paler yellow. And then I'm just going to kind of apply that all back here. A little bit into the sand here. And I'm going to drag it into the water as well. Alright, so I'm going to go back into my brushes. And now I'm actually going to use a haze brush. Instead of the Add Golden Sun, I'm going to use the Golden Haze. And just kind of do the same thing I did with the Golden Sun. Alright, so like I did with the last photograph, I am going to add light to this little girl in the picture who is our subject. So I'm going down to my Chasing Light brushes and I'm using the Chasing Light Brighten brush. And I'm just going to use that all on her just to bring more light. Turn the exposure up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. All right, so like we did with the first photograph, we're going to go down to our effects again. And we're going to go to Highlight Priority. Now, we didn't add a vignette to this photograph, but when we chose the all-in-one preset, it was already added in. So what we're going to do is just lower it. I mean, I'm sorry, raise the slider here so it's just a little bit less of a vignette. All right, so that's all I'm going to do to this photograph. So here's the before and after. So we took the underexposed image on the left and we've not only raised the exposure but we've added a lot of color to the background and have a nice contrast between this golden color and this blue color up here 
and we've brought a lot of light to the subject as well. So here's the before. I'm sorry, here's the after. Here's the before and the after. Great, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be able to try it out with your own Chasing Light workflow.